Nothing more screams USA than a pair of New Balance and Levi sneakers. What's up everybody, this guy Kicks here with another review and in today's video, I'm finally reviewing the New Balance 990 V3 and Levi's collaboration in that blue colorway. And before we get into the review, let me show you guys a first look. And real quick guys, before we get into the review, I still have that link with that 10% discount from Rejuvenator. Definitely check them out if you're interested in buying some cleaning products for your sneakers. They pretty much have everything you need. They also have like book bags and like carry on stuff where you can throw in your sneakers, maybe a camera, a laptop, things like that if you're on the go. So definitely check them out if you're interested. So here we have them guys, the New Balance 990 V3 and Levi's collaboration. This one is in the Millar blue and dark blue. There was also a great color they released alongside this pair and that colorway is called the elephant skin colorway. So quick information about this drop, these release back on September 9th, 2021 for a retail price of $220. I got these when they did another restock. I can't remember when it was, obviously after the official drop, but I heard that they were gonna restock. I got in real quick and got them. You know, I initially wasn't too crazy about these, especially with the retail price. And at the time I had already bought a lot of 990 V3, so I was okay passing on these. But when I saw the restock, I was like, you know what? Let me just get them in hand. Let me see what they look in person. And to be honest, I'm glad I did. So jumping into the details and materials on on these 990 v3 starting with the inside of the shoe the sock lining here has like a light gray color the insoles here have like a very light beige or maybe like a tan color and then you have the levi's for feet and new balance brand there in that blue color on the front of the tongue is made primarily in that darker blue color and then you have a d boss new balance usa branding these come with flat cotton laces they only come with one pair of laces and again the colors on the laces is like a beige or light tan color as you come down to the toe box you'll find the optimal control lace loop one of my favorite features and underrated features of the 990 v3 in my opinion you know i love this lace loop very easy to use compared to other 990 sneakers where it's a pain in the ass to get the laces through. The upper on these 990 V3s feature hairy cow suede, as you can see here. And then the underlay on these 990 V3s is that blue Levi denim material. The hairy suede on the upper is in that Millar blue. And then the new buck material on the upper is in that dark blue color. The denim material that they use, you'll find on the toe box and then throughout the cutouts of the upper of the shoe. Unfortunately, by them replacing the mesh material with this denim, it definitely takes away the breathability of these 990 V3s. Moving over to the lateral side, you'll find the N logo, which it is in 3M, similar to the medial side. On the right shoe, you'll find the Levi's tag right behind the N logo. Around the heel collar, you'll find some additional new buck and some of that denim material as well. All the way to the heel part of the shoe, around the heel collar, you'll find some additional new buck material there and the different shades of blue. You also find the New Balance logo and this jewel-like material underneath that, you'll find some additional perforated suede. And then the heel counter is in that hairy suede. And then on the lateral side, you'll find the 990 model and that metallic paint. When it comes to the midsole, it's in a two-tone color. You have primarily like a lighter beige on the forefoot and then towards the heel part of the midsole, it switches over to a darker beige color. On the lateral side, you'll find some end cap branding. The midsole is basically made out of Absorb and you also have end cap on the midsole here, which combines lightweight foam with a durable polyurethane rim to deliver all day support. And then finally on the midsole, you find a TPU heel stabilizer and then you also find the New Balance name and it's painted over with this metallic silver color. All the way to the outsole of these 990s is primarily a rubber outsole. Do have a carbon fiber shank plate there in the middle. All the way to the heel part of the outsole, you'll find the endurance name. You'll also find the New Balance name there as well. The outsole here is basically in that darker blue. You do have some light cream, maybe beige colors here on the outsole as well. And then on the forefoot part of the outsole, the traction that they use here is in like a diamond shaped design. The sneakers come in this Levi's custom box. As you can see here at the top, you have that darker blue 
Levi's for feet and New Balance there on the front. It also comes with a custom tissue paper where you have the Levi's logo and the New Balance logo as well. The shoes are gonna come with the usual Made in USA tag, but they're also gonna come with this Levi's and New Balance tag as well. And then it basically talks about what you should expect of this collaboration between New Balance and Levi's. One thing that I forgot to mention is that the hairy suede on these 99 v 3s is actually inspired by the reverse side of the Levi's leather patch. And here you have the official tag in SKU. So when it comes to sizing on the 990 V3s, I always go a half size down from my usual size 10. So for example, I'm a size 10 in most Nike, Adidas, like Jordan sneakers, but for the 990 V3s, I go a half size down. So I go with a nine and a half. For example, my 990 V5s, my 990 V4s, my 993s, 992s, those are made in USA sneakers that I go a half size down. Some of the ones that I stay true to size are like my 990 V2s, even my 2002 Rs, I stay true to size with those with a size 10. But for these, a better fit for me is going a half size down. When it comes to comfort, the 990 V3, in my opinion, is one of my favorite New Balance sneakers super comfortable all day comfort here you have a very nice balance of softness and firmness here doesn't disappoint you don't really get tired wearing these all day so i highly recommend the 990 v3 if you never owned one before and i know a lot of people love this silhouette and for a lot of good reason this midsole here feels very very good i mean they even put it on the 920 so i really love the 990 v3 one of my favorite new balance sneakers and as you guys can see if you follow me on the channel i definitely especially last year i bought a lot of 990 v3s and it's one of my favorite new balance sneakers so my final thoughts on these 990 v3s is that i really recommend these for sure you know i know some people probably didn't love these right off the bat and probably still don't and I guess you can tell based on the resale value, you know, these are pretty much going for close to retail other than the fact that you got to pay for shipping and fees. But honestly, guys, don't sleep on this colorway, especially if you could get it for close to retail, because honestly, I mean, this is a really cool color. You know, you basically have a classic denim blue color on the underlays of this sneaker. You know, you have some really cool Levi materials here. Plus you add on the materials and suede from New Balance. I mean, that is almost like a perfect combination. So in my opinion, I really like these a lot. Some may argue that the gray one is better and I could probably agree with that because it's more wearable, that's for sure. But if you want something different, if you already have you know, a lot of gray New Balance sneakers and you wanna throw in something different, you know, this colorway here will probably serve that purpose. So I really like these a lot, guys. Definitely recommend them. Some of the things I have to complain about these is that the craftsmanship and quality control is definitely not perfect. You know, with the 990 V3 midsole, as good as it is in terms of comfort, you know, there's something about the construction of it and how they craft this because sometimes it's very sloppy in terms of the little things. You might have some, you know, glue stains on the midsole so jewel material that they use on the lateral side where you see the end cap, you know, usually comes scuffed or maybe they paint it over by mistake, maybe when they're making the midsole. So sometimes the midsole looks a little bit sloppy, you know, but other than that, the suede here and the denim material that they use feels very high quality for sure. You know, I think it's definitely a sneaker that'll last a very long time, you know, because it's not as breathable as a regular 990 V3 with the mesh. Maybe you want to stick to wearing these during the fall and winter months, but still very nice. I like this color. It's the color that I really don't have in my collection. And I just think it's a dope sneaker, man. And if you can get it for close to retail, then I will pull the trigger and go for these. But if you like the gray one better, then I'm sure that one is nice as well. So, but I definitely like this one a lot and happy to have it in the collection. All right. So with that being said, let me throw these on, lace these bad boys up and show you guys how they look on feet. So that's it for me guys. Hopefully this video brought you a detailed look of the New Balance 990 V3 and Levi's collaboration in this blue colorway. Let me know in the comments below if you prefer the blue one or the gray colorway. And like always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to everybody who likes to chat and comment and talk about sneakers. I appreciate you guys for that. If you liked the video, definitely hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe. I'll leave a link to my Instagram page below where you guys can go follow me there as well. And that's it guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.